one friend, not, not going crazy, but never stopped, always was consistent, never gave up training, no matter what injury it is, no matter what it is, he's always here. If someone's missing for more than a week, right away, he's always asking, where is this person, what's going on, is he okay? Always checking in on them, and uh, I admire this person a lot, he works really hard, and uh, this is a hard thing to accomplish because not only does he already have a black belt, today he's getting another one, so congratulations, Jason Hall. <laughs> started with judo and then uh, came over to BJJ and uh, as I've got older and get higher rank I've really contemplated myself as I prepare to promote some people myself the black belt and what is a black belt and what is the essence of when you get a black belt what does it mean and what uh, you know we all have our separate journey so as I've got older I really changed my my thought on what what it is to promote someone to that rank and and also uh, you know, uh, what are the core values you need as a black belt in my mind? And I've changed over time where I thought being a competitor myself, you know, I thought that was pretty important and now I've really almost gone polar opposite to it where I thought, uh, you know, character has is, is been more of a thing that I've looked at now. Who is the person? Uh, what type of lifestyle do they lead? Uh, are they a bit of a philanthropist? Do they give back to others? That's something I've really discovered to try and, uh, and it's really important to, to uh, have some insight and that's what uh, one thing that uh, that uh, Professor uh, said about Jay and one thing I want to uh, extrapolate on is that uh, he has a great insight uh, on other people and uh, knowing when they need a little bit of help or knowing when something's not right or uh, reaching out to people, asking how they're doing in their life, just not when they not when they need something, not when he needs something. He's doing it because he's just a good person. How are you doing? How is your family? How is you know? Is there anything you need? And that is what a black belt does in my mind. It's not just about your skills. Skills is just a small component of it. It's who you are as a person. And uh, you know, we look at the world we live in today. It's just chaos. But you know. Politically, political climate, uh, the schools, we got our kids with COVID, it's just a disaster. So uh, uh, the core values of a person are, are a big component uh, in my mind. I'm sure Dan will agree uh, when someone becomes a black belt. We need people to be good teachers and good leaders. And, and being a fighter doesn't mean you're a good leader. So leadership comes from uh, years of experience, and having a bit of insight into people, looking at them and saying, you know, if something's not right with this person, uh, let me talk to them off the record and see if I can help them anyway. And that is more of a, it's really the whole person. And we need more people like Jay, and uh, when I find out today this is gonna happen, I got in my car, and I'm probably gonna get in trouble when I get home, but I actually, I cannot miss this. So he's been, he's been there for me for years training with me and or working on things that I do and um, also talking to me on a personal level and uh, for that I'm grateful for his friendship. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 